Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to gate content on your WordPress website using a simple non-paid plugin. And so one of the first questions I know most people would ask is, well, why would you want to gate your content? So one of the things behind this is that uh, gating your content can actually increase uh, your subscribership depending on how you do it. So for instance, you can have uh, a, a piece of collateral or content that um, let's just say it's an ebook so you build a page or a post about an ebook but you don't want people just to necessarily be able to download it or let's say it's a video you don't want them to be able to watch the video until they sign up for your site so to basically get access they have to give you their name uh, and their email address most importantly their email address and you want it to be an actual valid email address and so uh, I'm just going to show you an easy way that you can actually do that without spending um, a lot of time and a lot of money and not having a lot of technical know-how to do it um, so that being said now before we jump in there are a few paid plugins that you know if you wanted to do subscription based whether it's one-time payment or a monthly payment uh, you can do those. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily cover that in this tutorial, but just know that all you have to do is search uh, for WordPress paid membership uh, plugins and you'll find um, uh, at least I know four or five good plugins that are available. That being said, let's jump in uh, with this tutorial with kickstartcomtest.com. That's the domain that I'm using here and it is a simple WordPress site nothing elegant I just tend to use it for uh, these types of tutorials so that being said you can see I have recent blog posts that are here and so we want to take tech post 6 and make it to where it's gated content meaning that if a user's not logged in they won't be able to see it so because I'm I'm logged in and we've not yet done the um, tutorial yet then you can see that when I click it it will show tech post 6 and the content that's there. What we want to happen is when you click tech post 6 that it forces you to either log in or uh, gives you a registration op uh, option. So that being said we're gonna go to the back end and you're gonna go to plugins you're gonna click add new then you're going to search for simple require plugin and you can see I've already installed it um, so what you would do, typically yours would look like this one here with the duplicator where it says install now. So you would click that install now for simple require login and then activate it. And then once you've activated, you can go over to your post and click edit. And then once you've edited, there is a new box above the publish box that says require login. So we're going to select yes and it asks for what type of login type so you could put um, you could set content to only be viewed by certain uh, roles now there are also other I guess you'd say third-party uh, plugins that will allow you to create custom roles we're not going to cover that here in this tutorial but know that they do exist and you can search for them for the sake of this tutorial we are going to set this to subscriber I don't have a SSL uh, certificate installed on this uh, domain, but if you do, which I highly recommend that you should, um, especially using login information, then you would select yes. I'm not only because this is just a test site. So we will update. And all right, it has been updated. One thing to note is that if you're going to use this plugin, then you will need to make sure that under reading, so go to settings and then reading. You won't be able to have this plugin activated and have your latest post selected here. Um, it will just basically force people to the login page um, if you have this option there selected. So what you'll want to make sure is that you have a front page that's, you know, um, I guess custom code of some sort. And then you want to make sure that you have your blog page or your post going to you know a page name blog or whatever other page you want to put there that being said make sure that this setting this is a key setting for this um, plugin to work so we'll save that 
although I may didn't make any changes. All right, so then what we'll do, we will uh, log out. All right, so we'll go back and you can see that that's there. We'll go to my site and then now you can see the admin bar disappeared. So I'm just a regular old user that's coming to you know, a web page and I see, oh, Tech Post 6, I wanna see that. We click it and voila, now the user is forced to actually log in. Um, I don't have uh, registration set up for this page, but there typically is a registration link that's there and um, it'll allow a user to register and so I'll just show you how to actually turn that on real quick. So we'll log in, go to dashboard. And then once you're in dashboard, you'll want to go to uh, general. And under general, select anyone can register and make sure their new default role is subscriber. Save the changes. And then we'll log out and now there's the register so we can go back to the site again if you look at post 5 it's not it's not protected so you can see it if you want to see post 6 now you must register or you must uh, log in so I, I've already created a user new user I'm gonna give new user password log in here and voila now because I'm logged in I can actually go from post 5 to post 4 to post 6 and I'm now able to see it uh, one big thing or one quick tidbit here if you wanted to do video I know the question is going to come about that okay well if I put a YouTube or if I host a video on YouTube and I put it here, technically can't the person still see the video on YouTube? The answer to that is obviously yes. Why? Because it's hosted on YouTube. If you're hosting video and you want to lock it down, one of the services that I recommend is called Wistia.com, uh, W-I-S-T-I-A.com, and I'll make sure to include a link at the very bottom. But Wistia will allow you to host videos, and so they have a free plan that only allows you to host three videos uh, forever. Now, uh, the pro plan, uh, which is a plan that I typically use not only for myself but other customers, is $99 a month, and it allows you to add as many videos as you want for $0.25 cents each video. The good thing about Wistia is that you can um, host your video with them, but then uh, lock that video down to only being shown or embedded from your domain name, which is basically if we had a video that was in here, I would lock it down to only kickstartcomtest.com being able to show the video or render the video from this page. So if you had video content that you wanted to gate I recommend using um, Wistia it's pretty easy to use I'm not gonna walk through it here in this tutorial um, but I may do a follow-up video to show you how to uh, post a video uh, using Wistia so again uh, it's pretty easy step use the simple require login uh, for gating your content and like I said, I wish you the best of success. Um, if you need hosting, uh, if you need a quick, simple solution for WordPress hosting, I advise you to use InMotion Hosting. That's what I use here uh, for this site, kickstartcomtest.com. And so uh, I definitely encourage you to drop me a comment below if there are questions or uh, if you just have a question in general about gated content, I also recommend that you visit uh, my website at kickstartcommerce.com and as well become a subscriber to this YouTube channel. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next tutorial.